All right, guys, welcome back to more Walking Dead. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and drop a like up the channel and the series growing. And thank you guys for your support. It really means a lot. Keep showing that love, and I definitely keep cranking these out. Looks like we're actually in town now. <laughs> he's coming. He's becoming more and more distant. Each and every episode, Kenny. I guess I'm partially to blame, though. I was kind of siding with Krista the whole time. Hey, uh, so you want to talk about it? About what? About what happened back there in the attic. No. You sure, man? I mean, River's we... right up ahead. Son of a bitch. That bastard's fucking with us again. It's another trap. No, listen. That's not the same bell as before. This one's further off. Whatever it is, it's gonna get the dead moving over there. Yeah, all it takes is for one to turn its head. What in the hell is going on? Someone must be ringing those bells. Whatever, man. I find whoever's doing that, I'll ring their motherfucking bell for them. <laughs> hmm. Let's keep moving. Still nothing moving behind us. I think we're... that doesn't look like it to me maybe we need to start thinking about a plan b i know right this is the plan it's the only one we've got and you pissing on it in front of everyone like you did back at the house ain't exactly helping screw you i ain't giving up that easy i knew it This one might still be salvageable. You better be right about this. I said it might be. Give me a fucking break. I'm a fishing captain, not a miracle worker. I'll check it out. You look further along the waterfront. Maybe there's something at the other end. I don't think we should split up too far. We don't have to. See that telescope? You can see all the way along the waterfront from right here. See what you can find. Okay. Yeah, and I look through that and the walker comes up behind me. Periodically better be looking back to watch my back. Shoot. Not exactly a welcome banner. Check that out. Oh my... That's a whole... That's got a reek! God, I must stink. Fuck. What is this meant to be? Some kind of warning? We'll do something like this. No, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna shoot. This barricade does a good job of making me not want to go any further. I'm not gonna shoot. Um, let's check this building now. Uh, what the hell are these markings? They're all over the place.
It's an old cash register. Not much use these days. Pick it up and whack a zombie over the head with it like it's dead rising. How about that? An abandoned newsstand. Where's the little... Okay, here we go. Great. Needs a quarter to work. <laughs> Damn. Built solid. So where the... The cash register. That's where I get the quarter from. Hello, beautiful. Empty. Of course. That would have been too easy. Yep. Took the words right out of my mouth. Um. Let's check out this door. This door has markings on it too. Could be military. Here we go with the phone again. What do they mean? Course. Let's see if we can. Oh, ho, ho. bingo. Had to give it a little blunt force trauma. Yes, siphoned. Tires removed. Engine parts missing. Looks like this thing has been stripped clean. Must have been trying to back their boat into the water. Only things didn't go as planned. All right, now let's try this again. Fuck! What's up with the boat? It ain't gonna work. Hulls <laughs> cracked beneath the water line, plus someone stripped out the battery. You can't fix it? What the? What the hell is that? <laughs> My thoughts exactly, dude. Fate worse than death. Abandoned, like every other place in this city. Plenty of docks, no boats. Nothing but water, not a boat to be seen. Oh, what the hell? <coughs> Get down. Get down. Hiding. Someone came down from that building at the end of the street. Where'd he go? Saw him run into that newsstand. Could be our bell ringer. How about we go find out? Sounds like a plan. Okay, you head up the middle of the street. I'll go around the side, cover your flank. We'll come up on him quiet, take him by surprise. Let's do it. We just want to talk to this guy. Oh, we're gonna talk. What 
Ta. What? Oh. 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 Ooh, you are quick. Uh oh, we're dead. We're dead. We're no! Clem? Please don't hurt him. You're not from Crawford. Crawford? What the hell are you talking about? Kenny, no, it's not our guy! Oh, crap. No, he's with us! Who the hell are you people? Everyone just calm down. I'll calm down once she tells me who the fuck she is. Back off, asshole. The name's Molly. Molly? I'm Lee. This is Kenny and Clementine. We're not looking for any trouble. Hi. You guys really aren't from Crawford, are you? Who is... No, I'm from Macon. Kenny here's from Florida. She didn't ask for our life stories, Lee. What's the deal with this Crawford place? You sure you want to know? Yeah. When everything started going to shit, some people got together and sealed off that whole neighborhood. Folks willing to do anything to stay alive, stop the dead getting in. I try to avoid them. Why? Let's just say they have a zero-tolerance policy for anyone who won't, or can't, live by their rules. So how'd you know we weren't them? Because there are no children in Crawford. Not anymore. Do you know who's been ringing those bells all over town? Yeah, that would be me. I knew it! Lee, I knew she was the one who'd been following us! Fucking with us. Get that finger out of my face, Grandpa, before I jam it straight up your ass. I haven't been following you. I don't even know who the hell you people are. Calm down, Kenny. The voice on the radio was a guy, remember? <laughs> Grandpa. Yeah, well, whoever you are, ringing those bells this morning nearly got us all killed. Raise the dead all around us. That's the idea, genius. It's how I get around. I ring a bell in one neighborhood to attract the local geeks towards it. Buys me some time to scavenge the areas they cleared out. Geeks? Is that what you call them? Yeah, you know, like at the carnival, they'll eat anything, alive or dead. That's pretty smart, the bells. Doesn't take much to outsmart the dead. Bunch of dumbasses. You just gotta move fast, get in and out before they start to wander back again. Clem, what the hell are you doing here? How'd you get out of the house? Well, Meat started getting really sick. Krista and Ben had to take him upstairs. I didn't just want to sit around there. I wanted to come help. I told you we didn't need any help. Really? Because if it weren't for her showing up when she did, I would have beaten your brains out. That's debatable. Uh-huh. Was that you at our house this morning? Watching me through the back fence? Hell no. Believe it or not, I've got better things to do with my time. What do you mean, no children? Why not? No children, no elderly, no one with an advanced medical condition. Basically, no one who might be a burden on the community. Crawford's all about the survival of the fittest. That's how they survived, while the rest of the world went to shit around them. Jesus Christ. Well, just the opposite when you think about it. Exactly, did Crawford do with all these burdens? What happened to them? I guess well, you we're met looking some at of them already. I knew it. Fuck me. Yeah, anyone who got sick, 
anyone too old, anyone they figured wasn't strong enough to survive. To them, those people were just mouths to feed, a drain on their precious resources. How do you know all this? Everyone in Savannah knew. What was going on inside Crawford got passed around like a ghost story. Except this one was true. Look, I'm gonna ask you people again. You're not from Crawford, so who the hell are you? What are you doing here? We're just trying to survive, same as you. And the only way we're gonna survive is by getting on a boat and getting the hell out of here. Yeah, good luck with that. Anyone with a boat took it out of here as soon as people started eating each other. Any that got left behind, Crawford stripped him for parts. Cars, too. There's gotta be something. If there was, do you think I'd still be here? I've been over every inch of this city. This whole place is picked clean. God damn it! Fuck! Hey, moron. You wanna keep your voice down? Shit. Since you're not getting on any boat, I'd advise you folks to go back to where you came from before... Right. Oh, great. I know, right? Isn't that the... Gunshot must have brought him back. Isn't there another way back to the house? Mom, is there a... <laughs> hey, you're just gonna leave us here? Sorry, I must have missed that part of our conversation where you became my problem. Don't oh. leave us here, please. Oh, no. Yeah, I'm so glad Clementine showed up. I regret that decision I made. Come on, make it fast. Asking what is she doing here? I'm so glad she came. If it wasn't for her, we'd be dead. Oh no. Come on, come on, hurry! Come on! No man, one good jump. The dumpster. Are you serious? Come on, Lee! Get your ass out of there! Ah, can't get it open! Here, use that to pry it open! Come on, hurry up! Uh, come on! Into the sewer! Down by the river. <laughs> oh, we successfully made it out. Oh my god. Clementine, can you hear me? If you can hear me, just get back to the house, okay? I'll meet you there. 